Hello everybody, what is up? I'm back for another video. This is Muhammad Asana, and today, in today's video, we will be teaching you how to install Windows 10 as a virtual machine in order for use in later videos. Uh, this can be used for, like, testing, um, ethical hacking, cybersecurity, testing programs we've created. So, yeah, it's very useful. So, let's get started. So, the first thing you want to do is go to the first link in the description under the resources, and you want to head to this website right here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to click uh, virtual machines, right? And it says select one. Click here. We're going to say Windows 10, MS Edge on Windows 10. Choose a VM platform. We're going to be using uh, VMware. It's the best of them, I believe. And then we're going to click download .zip. So this should take quite a bit to download. It shouldn't take too long uh, if your internet's good. Um, but it's only 6.7 gigabyte. Um, of size and then after you're done with that you want to go to the second link in the description for Windows or third link in the description for Mac so I'll go over the Windows first so for Windows it should bring you here download VMware workstation player and you want to scroll all the way down and try uh, workstation 17 player for Windows you want to click that click download now and then it should download I already have this so I'm not going to install it um, and then same thing for Mac just scroll all the way down and use Fusion 13 Pro Okay, so now what we want to do is we're just going to wait for this to finish installing and then we can continue with our installation process. So before this is done installing, I just want to tell you guys what a virtual machine actually is. So a virtual machine is the virtualization or emulation of a computer system. Uh, virtual machines are based on computer architectures and provide functionality of a physical computer within your computer. So you're basically having a new computer within your computer of a different operating system possibly, or the same. So um, now this is almost done installing, and let's just give it a moment. So it is officially done installing right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this, and we are going to extract all of this. So right over here, you see we can do this. So I'm going to click Extract. And we'll just give it uh, its time. This should not take as long as it took to download it, because this is using your computer's hardware. Yeah, we'll just give it a time and then we can move on to the next step. So now that it's done installing, I mean extracting, uh, we can close out our browser and now we have it right here. So we're going to open this up and what we now want to do is we're going to open up VMware. We should have installed it already. So VMware Workstation 16 Player, right? So I have this open. Let me just move it over here. Okay. So, um, what we're going to do is we are going to, let me just change a few things. I know you guys can't see this yet. Um, let me just finish this up and change that. Okay, perfect. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go and click this home button. Uh, if you installed Kali Linux from my earlier tutorial, you should already have one called Kali Linux 2022.3-VMware-AMD64 um, and probably nothing else. So you want to click the home thing. If you have not, uh, they'll just be home. So you want to click that. Click open a virtual machine. And then we're going to go into our downloads, right? So I'm going to head into my downloads. And you want to navigate to the folder, right? So it's right here. I'm navigated into this folder and I'm going to go here. And then only one of them should show up. So we're going to click on it, click open. And we're going to name for, uh, for the new virtual machine. We'll call it Windows 10. And the storage path is going to be over there. We're going to click import. And it should take a few minutes, uh, probably two to five minutes. So, yeah, just give it time. Depending on your computers, it should take a certain amount of time. So um, now this is done, the process is complete. So it should automatically set to four gigabyte of RAM and you can edit the settings. Um, I like to keep it at four, change the processors. I like to add it to four, depending on what you can do. Hard disk space, I like to keep it at the default and I might increase it, but not really that needed. So we're gonna click okay. And then we're gonna click play virtual machine and have it start up. So uh, what we're going to do is just let it start up and we will give it its time. So it is complete starting up. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here and uh, the default password should be capital P uh, and then type pass W. And then instead of the O, we're going to put 
a zero, RG, and then explanation mark, right? So this is what it should look like. Um, you should also see it on screen. And then that's what it is. So we're gonna click the next button. Um, and then if your mouse gets stuck in here, like let's say during a crash and you don't know how to fix this, click Control and Alt and it should release your mouse. So I'm gonna make this full screen right over here. And there we go, it's up. It's a fully working Windows. It should work with your Wi-Fi that's connected to uh, your com normal computer, your host computer. And there, see, Wi-Fi is all working already. So yeah, that's it for today's video, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please make sure to ask in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a nice day. Bye.